Ubang community, located in the northern part of Cross River State, is approximately six hours' drive from Calabar, the state capital. Surrounded by mountain ranges, the Ubang people are predominantly farmers who specialize in cocoa, cassava, yam, and other cash crops production. There are many wonders of the world that abound in most communities of Cross River States. For this community of a bank in Obudu local government area of Cross River States, the men here speak separate language from the women. Join me as I unravel this language mystery to you that has been in existence since time immemorial. <laughs> This tradition dates back to centuries ago, and the residents consider it a miracle. I may not know really what happened, but there are some stories. One of them is that uh, we were created uh, the first people, and God was about giving to two languages. To a point, discover that if he does so, the language, the thing will not go around. So now he now reduced it to one one. After he might have given the Ban people two. <laughs> there are other school of thoughts as regards the origin of this bilingual clan. Personally, or some people have said that it's like um, the Tower of Babel failed here. So, and that is why we have two languages. He's taking it back to Calabar. Emma. From this potential young hunter to the 95-year-old clan head, and from this young girl to the lady fanning the ember, no one needs special training to speak according to the agenda. Okay, how do you call water? Um, yeah. Water? Mamu. The yam in, our, in the male language is called kitong. Okay. For women, na uh, irui. These residents consider this phenomenon peculiar to them the world over. God did this miracle, giving the, 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 the ladies a different one, giving the male a different one. When they, 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 took, they, they two speaks, they understand themselves very well, perfectly well. Obang is already playing host to different visitors some for research, some others for adventure. So many institutions have come in here for research. We have also helped most research scholars. Getting down here has been like one adventure that I've never had all through my life. I'm one person that likes going through villages to see what it feels like getting into those villages. There have been instances where people speak languages other than that of the agenda. Whoever does that, however, should be ready for the punishment that comes with it. It's a taboo. Anyone who makes such mistake, she, she, she is laughed at by the, by the other people listening. They, they, they laugh at him very well. Beyond the language miracle, according to the people, the boast of their distillery. About six years ago, Channel Television visited this community over its state of infrastructure. Since that visit, residents say they are happy with the state of infrastructure, but nonetheless ask for more. Wonders of the world, indeed, you would agree with me. So when next you visit Cross River State, take a trip to a bank in Obudu local government area of Cross River State to have a first-hand feel of the language magic. Imani Ode, Channels, Television News. <laughs>